So I'm back with another Korean nail haul. Shout out to Aaliyah. She put me on to Jelly Fit. I never heard of this company before, but they were having a sale and she was like, girl, you should try it out. So I did. And this is what I got. So let me get everything out of the box and then you know how we do. We gonna do a swatch party. This is the intro to Long Hair Pretty Nail Show, yeah. When it's all stacked up like this, you know, it looks like a lot. I mean, it is a lot. <laughs> It was a decent enough sale, but even with the sale price, this was like almost $500. <laughs> Korean nail products are just expensive, okay? Like, you know, you just gotta accept it. I have. <laughs> and I also wanted to get like different things. I mean, it's not too much different, but some of the like polishes are different from what I've tried. So I'm excited to see some stuff. And particularly this one. This one is like that terra terracotta <laughs> finish like on tiles and stuff. I'm sure you probably heard that term from like HGTV. That's pretty much what I watched. So I was like, oh, I could do some nails that's like tile. All right, this is the first set. It's called the Terra Coat Jelly Fit Studio. So yeah, apparently this is another brand that I never heard of, <laughs> but we are learning today. Ooh, okay, so these are what the bottles look like. Okay, it's only three in this set. So this is the Terracote set and ooh, like I'm loving these little samples. Isn't that just adorable? I wonder if it's a milky base. I don't know. Let's watch. So here is the first one. Uh, what is the name of this one? <laughs> Ain't don't know. Okay, TC01, I guess. Okay, it is a milky base. Ooh. That's interesting. All right, so let's see what it looks like on an actual nail. But you guys see what I'm talking about. Like, I just wanted to try something that was like different. For this to be one coat, this is hefty. You get a lot of like particles. <laughs> wow, you don't even need a second coat. Okay, so what was that? TC01. Next is this one. It looks like it has some pretty gold and browns in it. And this is TC03. And it is pretty thick. But that is really cool. I don't know. To me, it's giving like, it is giving countertop. Yes, countertop. <laughs> and once again, the coverage is like really good. I am so shocked light creamy colors like this for my dark skin <laughs> i'll be needing at least two coats but this one is really gives you the coverage i like this though it's given like mid-century modern <laughs> i watch too much hgtv <laughs> and the next one is this pretty multicolored one and this is tz02 all right on once again, very thick viscosity, very chunky. I like that though. It's like, if you gonna put glitter and specks in a gel polish, like load it up, <laughs> load it up and let me deal with the chunkiness so I can spread these out the way that I want. Of course, you can get very strategic on how you wanna place these, but y'all, Yes, that is given tile. That is, that is given colorful backsplash. <laughs> okay, I mean it's still it's still pretty good coverage. This one it seems to be the sheerer of the two, but you know it's not that sheer. Let's see what a second coat of this just on the back would look like. Okay, so yeah, you do get a tad bit more coverage with this one. So if you are wearing it on its own, definitely probably two coats. So here are the colors side by side. So the next one we have is this Azale. And this is what this set looks like. Let me just, let's just take them out and swatch them. This is the first one and it's HL01. So I'm not sure if you guys can see. I wonder if this is like that um, reflective glitter. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, let us see. 
Oh, that is so shiny and so smooth. <laughs> from my perspective, cause from top down, it looks like it's like full coverage, but it's sheer, which is all right with me because this would make for a perfect topper. You can put whatever color you want for the background or your base. And then this on top, girl, <laughs> girl, stop. Oh, that is lovely. And that is even lovelier. But what if you wanted to just wear it on its own? Let's see what two coats will look like. Okay. It is a thinner, thinner viscosity. I do want to point out, so this card came with the order and it goes into detail about viscosities of their gels and they are labeled one through three. So you can know what type of viscosity you're getting, which I think is pretty cool because I just be blind buying. And so it's good to know like what I'm going to be actually getting. Oh, but that is beautiful. So this is what two coats of this is looking like. And it is so holographic. It is gorgeous. Next we have HL02. I can't get over how smooth this polish is. Wow, that is really gorgeous. Oh, once again, it is a thinner, I'm guessing this is probably a level one viscosity. But God, the way it self levels is out of this world. It's crazy. So one coat and ah, uh, okay. So I was thinking the Terra coat was going to be my favorite set, but this one, this Azale did not come to play. Okay. <laughs> so that is what it looks like. Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh, and that is what it looks like with a flash with two coats yes and next we have this one hl03 and i can't get over how this brush just glides oh yes all right one coat and the color is really beautiful yes Look at that shine, that holographicness. <laughs> really, really cute. And next we got this one, HL04. And, ooh, a nice little purple. Ooh, very, very beautiful. So that's one coat and two coats and on the finger. <laughs> pretty and with the flash wow sorry i'm trying to show y'all camera can't even stay in focus on all this shiny hollowness and here's the next one hl05 i was like it's the same <laughs> but it's green oh it's really crazy how like this is like some of the thinnest polish, but it really holds that holographic glitter so well. It's so much concentration of the hollow. They used a lot of it. <laughs> so that is one coat and two coats. Okay, you can clearly see the green tint in it. I thought it was gonna be too similar to the silver. And this is what it looks like on, sorta. <laughs> and with the flash. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's just all I can say, cause this is just so beautiful. And the last one in this set, HL06. And, oh, oh. I didn't know what to expect. That's like a dark steel. I don't know, it's shifting between like purple and blue and dark gray. Oh, it's giving like starry night. <laughs> so that is one coat and two coats. 
I didn't, I thought I was gonna have some favorites in this set, but I like every color. So that is what it looks like on a nail and with the flash. It, it's just, ooh, I'm gonna see if I get closer. Wow. Let's see if we can get it in focus. It's just, it's so much going on. Here are all the colors side by side. Aren't they just gorgeous? And the colors side by side with the flash. Beautiful. So as you know, these sets do sometimes come with a card where you can display all of the colors. So I'm gonna finally do that. I have these little bears that I ordered that took forever to get here because I would have done it in my last swatch video. But they're little teddy bears. <laughs> Isn't this the cutest? So we're just gonna stick this on here and paint the swatch on the back of the cute little bear. So the bears are all painted and I'm gonna use these press on um, sticky tabs to put them on. I have plenty of these, so this is perfect. And just stick it on here. <laughs> this is so adorable. Spacing's a little off, but it's okay. <laughs> is just for display. Oh, so now we have a stand with all of the colors. Ooh. Oh, so I have this idea for the desk behind me. I'm gonna start filling that up with all of my samples. So we're just gonna assemble it. It stands up like this. Cute. All right, so I'm gonna put this back here. And so the next set I have is this Alana Gel 4. It looks like it's gonna be like tweed or something. I can't remember what the samples looked like when I bought it, but we about to find out. So yes, I'm so glad I can finally put these cards to use. This is the first color. I'm loving this little knit sample. <laughs> Isn't that really cute? And this is color AM22. Oh yeah, this was the furry one. Okay. Yeah, I was looking for something different that I don't have in my gel polish collection. And I don't have any of these little gel polishes with the flocking powder in it. And it makes it look furry, <laughs> gives it texture. This one does take a little getting used to because of all the particles in it. So you probably have to slowly build this one up. <laughs> but yeah, it's like every time I move it, Let's, let's try this. Just kind of tap some down and then do this. Okay, I think that's probably the closest I'm gonna get to it looking even. <laughs> but that is that. So let's see what a second coat would look like. But yeah, you can definitely see all of that texture. Let's zoom in. But yeah, you got flecks of green and it looks like blue. But yeah, cute. As for the sample on the bottle, I don't get it. It's nothing like what's inside the bottle. <laughs> this is the next one, AM23. And <laughs> this one is like an oxymoron. Like as far as gel polish, we try our best to keep lint out of it. And they intentionally put lint inside of it. I just, I just think it's crazy. <laughs> this one doesn't seem like it's a mixture of two colors of the, of the, of the furry lint. <laughs> so that is one coat and a second coat. But the coverage is definitely opaque. You can't see my finger underneath. Next we got AM24. They're very stringy. <laughs> I believe what made me want to get this is I saw, um, I can't remember if it was on their page or not. It was like a tweed nail design. Well, kind of like the packaging. <laughs> but I was like, oh, that's perfect. But yeah, you definitely have to kind of tap it where you want. This is probably where like a small detail brush will come in. Um, so you can like fill around, you know, the cuticle and the sides and stuff. For, so it could all be even. But this is one coat. 
and two coats. Just seeing like the appearance of texture and like having, I guess, something different inside of the gel polish. It's very interesting to me. I like it. And next we have AM25. <laughs> like I said, it's kind of stringy. But yeah, you can definitely see and feel the texture. It's like the fibers make this polish really thick. You have to be kind of intentional where you're putting it. One coat and two coats. I do want to point out that even though it is chunkier, it's grittier. I won't say gritty, but you know what I'm saying. You, you can definitely feel the fibers in there. Um, but the gel does self-level, so I'm impressed. Next we have AM26. I can't put my finger on this color. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like a lavender, you know, judging on... Well, no, I guess it's like a nude. Okay. One coat and two coats. And the last color in this set is AM27. I don't know why, but this is giving me like cookies and cream. <laughs> okay, so that is one coat. Let me give a little contrast. Okay. That is one coat. Oh, I'm actually seeing different color specs in this one. It looks like it's blue and pink and green. And, and two coats. All right now. That one definitely is giving tweed jacket. And here are all the colors side by side. And my bears. So the next set is I Love Neon. Oh, this looks like this is gonna be fun and summery. So this is the first color, NE11. So this one's a syrup. It's a pretty thick syrup too. Very soft in color. Okay, that's one coat. And two coats. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I've seen more neon in my career of gel polish nail swatching, so I'm not quite impressed. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the next color in E09. Okay, I mean they they're pretty colors. Uh they're just not like wowing me like I thought it would be. <laughs> Am I asking too much? Alright, one coat and two coats. I definitely wouldn't classify these as neon. Jelly, yes. Neon, not so much. Next we have NE14. All right, we might be getting somewhere with a neon. <laughs> These are definitely given syrup. I don't know. I guess V Beauty Pure has me spoiled because them jelly polishes were like in your face neon. And, uh... <laughs> These aren't. <laughs> These are very soft. One coat. And two coats. I don't know. I'm not really liking this collection. I see why it was on sale. The next color we have. In E10. Alright. The pigment on this one isn't bad. I don't know. This is giving soft neon though. For real. <laughs> Soft neon. It's not like it's a um a super like clear base jelly. It feels like it it's kind of it kind of has like a a slight milky base to it if that makes sense. I think that's what's throwing me off as well because it's like it's not super like transparent. I mean you know it's nice. I wonder how much I paid for this. I don't remember. But that's two coats. I don't know. I'm I'm just not feeling this set. And the next color is NE12. Okay. Oh. All right. See, that's what I've been waiting for. Is that ooh? <laughs> I 
I want bright, okay? When you tell me neon, I'm expecting to like have to be squinting because it's so bright. All right, one coat and two coats. So this one definitely is brighter. It's given neon. And the last color in this set is NE13. All right, she given juicy grapefruit. One coat, two coats, eh, all right. <laughs> so here are all the colors side by side. The color palette is really cute. Maybe I was a little too hard on it. I just was expecting a little brighter. And of course I got my bears. I think it looks better on the bears because it's like a faux top coat. Um, but yeah, don't they look like gummy bears? <laughs> And next we have this one. This is the All Kill Perfect. It seems like Korea used the word kill a lot in their beauty products or the nail products. Um, I don't know, but this sounds like a threat to me. <laughs> and the first color is Pea Blue. Ooh, glitter, glitter. Y'all know how I feel about glitter. Ooh, gorgeous. Oh, but this is, this is really thick. <laughs> I mean, that's a, you know, that, that could be a good thing. But you really gotta drag it around to get it to where you want it to be. Ooh, but that's cute. Kind of reminds me of the shining gels from Kiss Korea. And a second coat. Talk about glittery goodness. And of course, with the flash. And the next color, pea brown. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm childish. <laughs> Cute. Um, in person, it is a very like, I guess when you see it loaded up on the brush, it does give a champagne gold type of feel. One coat, two coats. And with the flash. Next we have pea purple. All right. I mean, I guess when they say the colors, they mean like the ever so slight tint. <laughs> this is a tint of purple. That is cool because it's glitter. Glitter gets a pass. <laughs> One coat, two coats, and with the flash. And the next color is pea gold. I just realized I ain't been showing y'all the consistency in the bottle. But yeah, this one's a thick one. And, oh, I like this one. It's hard to tell on camera. Y'all will see in just a second with the flash, but this is a very light, light, light gold. But because these gels are pretty thick, I'm wondering if I can use them as liners. Um, Cause I'm still on the hunt for regular, really extra fine, extra glittery gel liners. One coat, two coats, and with a flash. The next color we have is pea pink. Y'all look at this brush, uh-uh. This is unacceptable. <laughs> For these prices, this is unacceptable. I wonder if I can, I don't know. I'm gonna have to clean this and dip it in some hot water for it to go back to normal. And I'm really, I mean, I see the tint. It just looks awfully similar to one of the other ones. One coat. Oh, but even with the studio lights, y'all see it? Y'all see it catching? <laughs> Two coats. The more I layer the coats on, I can definitely see the color. And with the flash. Ooh, twinkle, twinkle. And the last color in this set, pea silver. On. Ooh, just a twinkle, twinkle. Okay, so that's one coat. And two coats. And with the flash. Come on now. 
Come on. So here are the colors side by side. Ooh, just with the light. It's dancing. <laughs> and this is with the flesh. Oh, these colors are so beautiful. Totally in love. So this set came with a nice acrylic stand. <laughs> so let's assemble. All right, so it stands up like so. Next up, we have the Crystal Rock Candy. And this packaging is too cute. <laughs> so let's open it up. All right, so the first color is AG107. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, this one is definitely chunky chunky. Uh, But I would classify this as like a topper to put some glitter on top. Of course, you can put these little pieces where you want them to be. So, you know, depending on the background, it shifts. Uh, I'm not sure if a second coat would even matter, but let's just see. Okay, I really don't think it did, but <laughs> there you go. Okay, you know, glitter. <laughs> Next we have AG112. These are definitely, oh wow, this one's, this one's really chunky. <laughs> oh, I don't think I've seen glitter pieces this big <laughs> inside of a nail polish. Okay, something like that. Cute. And the next one is... AG111. The difference among these is very slight. I guess I have to see them side by side. I mean, obviously the last one with the really chunky glitter in it was different, but hmm, let me see. Like, does this look the same to y'all? <laughs> starting to look the same to me. And the next one is AG110. Okay, I'm seeing like the tint of like the glitter is a bit different, but when you paint it on, uh, it kind of just looks the same. <laughs> it really does. So that is this one. Yeah, I'm just, when it, when it gets on the nail, I can't see a difference. Unless it's like really concentrated, like the swatch on the bottle. Mm, okay. Next we have AG109. All right, a little citrus. That is crazy. <laughs> In the bottle, you can clearly see that, you know, each of these have its own little color and tint. But when it's on the nail, you really can't tell the difference. And the final color in this set is AG108. Ooh, okay, pink. I feel like I'm having deja vu because all of these look the same. <laughs> but here's this one. The color comes through a little bit more, but I really like loaded these up. So, you know, I guess there is a slight variation. <laughs> And the last set that I have is the All That Glitter. This reminds me of like a McDonald's Happy Meal box. <laughs> Do they still even have those? Haven't had a Happy Meal in a long time. So this is how it is. And you open it like so. And it just opens up. <laughs> so this is the Flash Power. It's crazy that all of these bottles are individually wrapped. These bottles are really, really cute. I love, like, you can't feel it, but it's like textured, glitter textured. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's pretty cute. I like it, and I wonder if the color matches. Let's see. This is AG103. Oh, um, 
Mmm, flash power. I think these are reflective. Ooh, okay. Now see, this is the color payoff that I'm looking for. You can be glittery and all that good stuff, but you know, give me some color too. <laughs> oh, that is gorgeous. All right, not bad for one coat, but I think you definitely need two. And two coats, wow, that's pretty. Oh, okay. <laughs> So this is what it looks like with the flash. Oh, wow. The next color we have is AG102. On, okay. On camera, it's looking gray, <laughs> but it's like one of those etope colors. Brown, brown beige, brown beige, <laughs> brown beige gray. Okay, a one coat two coats and with the flash wow <laughs> i can't believe how reflective these are next we have ag105 i feel like you're gonna need some layers of this for the color to really come through okay it's coming it's on the way okay well one coat and, and two coats, and with the flash. Next we got this pretty blue, AG104. Just so dreamy. One coat, two coats, and with the flash. Next we got AG100. I'm trying to see what color this is. It's like a purple tint. I don't know, it's kind of hard to put my finger on it. One coat, and two coats, and we can't forget that flash. Next we got AG101. These reflective ones I think are my favorite. <laughs> Um, they are just so like shiny out of this world. The formula is self leveling. Uh, it is a bit thinner. I believe these were the viscosity one. So, you know, like the thinnest. And two coats and with the flash. And next we have AG106. Right, this one is like an army green. <laughs> I just was painting, y'all. This is two coats. <laughs> and the flash. Ooh, it looks like gold when the flash is on it. Okay. And the next color, AG99. Okay, that, I was not expecting this color. <laughs> one coat. Ooh, that looks really cute after two coats. Okay, it's real cute with the flash. Next we got AG95. Okay, another one of those gray colors. <laughs> I can't put my finger on it. It looks gray to me. One coat, two coats, flash. I was totally not expecting it to look gold yellow under the flashlight, but it's cute. And the next color is AG98. Blue, blue jean blue. I find it easier to like dab it at the, at the most heaviest part, <laughs> the cuticle area and kind of just floating it down. One coat, two coats, and with the flash. And the next color is AG96. I feel like I've seen this color three times in this kit. <laughs> One coat, two coats, and with the flash. And the last color. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all stuck it out with me, but the last color is AG97. 
I feel like you need to like load these up for the colors to really come through. So definitely two coats, maybe three. One coat, two coats, and we can't forget the flash. Okay, it does look mostly silver, but I do see specks of like blue in it, teal. I don't know. She shining, she cute. So these are the colors side by side and okay, I do see variation. <laughs> they actually look a lot deeper in color. I guess that's the two coats, but okay. And one more time for the flash. Ooh, that is crazy how different they look with a flashlight on it, okay? These are really cute. And we can't forget our little bears. Okay, so for the nails, I'm gonna use these corn tips. They're just soft gel tips. So I already got my sizes picked out. Got my lamp. And I'm gonna use the Salon Extend Gel. I actually really like this. So I'm just gonna put a little bit in here. Oh yeah, I've already prepped my nails and everything. Like I've done this a gazillion times. So I'll put a link down to the latest video to show you guys how I do these. But I like that the kiss is a little thicker and it stays in place. I'm just gonna go ahead and cure. And this is a flash cure, so once I have all the nails on, I'm gonna put them in my big lamp and cure for 60 seconds. Nails are on, and I'm just gonna do some cleanup around the cuticle, just so it can look like it's growing from my fingernail. And this also gives me a chance to get up any gel that may have squeezed out. So for my design, I'm gonna go in with the Terracote, the countertop <laughs> nail polish. Uh, I just think it's so interesting and I've never tried anything like this. So let's see what uh, home makeover nails look like. I'm gonna put some out on my palette I'm just gonna tap some out so I can pick up the little chunks that's in there and place them where I want them to be. All right, so firstly, I just wanna get really close to the cuticle. Like so. All right. Put this back here so you guys can see a little contrast. Let's see if I can kind of just drop some where I want and just kind of place some where I want them to be. I'm gonna go in with a second coat too, but I wanna make sure this first layer has, you know, the bits and the bobs uh, so it can have a little dimension, you know, like a granite countertop. <laughs> All right, and now we go in with a second coat. I'm feeling that. All right, and the second coat. <laughs> I think this polish is just so cool. Okay, so when I want it to look a little more milky, like I don't want the blue to be so harsh, I just tap over it. to give it that look like it's buried within granite. And then I just 
use the liner brush to make sure that everything is in place and that it's not too, too much on one side. But I think we're good. Ooh, okay. Come through stone. <laughs> so for the accent finger, I'm gonna go in with this blue. I'm just gonna do some abstract. And fill this in. All right, after doing the reflective glitter blue accents, I'm gonna go back in with the terracotta countertop. <laughs> Um, and we're just gonna do some abstract, another loop maybe right here. And I'm just gonna fill this in. All right, and now I'm just gonna add some embellishments. I wanna add a, um, a little ball chain, so I'm gonna do the bling gel right where I want the chain to be. And then I'm gonna take the Patty Gel top coat and float it over just ever so gently. And then I'm gonna put the chain, sorry y'all, I really can't see, but gotta get this placement right. But yeah, I want it like this. But yeah, I want it like that. So I'm going to go ahead and cure this using my desktop lamp. And just cut the thing. <laughs> All right, so here is the finished look. All right, you know, it's giving, it's giving something. To me, I'm seeing, I don't know, milk tea <laughs> or a countertop or a backsplash. <laughs> so, you know, just wanted to add some little embellishments, you know, some hardware to our countertop slash backsplash. <laughs> I think this is cute though. I don't know, it's just something interesting that really draws me to this type of polish. I like it. And let's see how it looks in the flashlight. Ooh, really pretty. That blue is just shining and it's so cute. I can look at this all day. <laughs> So if you guys enjoyed these type of videos and want to see more Korean nail products, check out these videos right here. And I will talk to you in the next one. Peace. This is the outro to the long hair pretty nail show. Yeah.